St Mary's played host to Kelvin Davis's testimonial on Tuesday evening as a current Southampton 11 took on a side made up primarily of players who featured in the back-to-back -back promotions. That team was managed by Nigel Atkins and included ex-players such as Ricky Lambert, Danny Butterfield and Dean Hammond. The game itself got off to a flying start with Kelvin Davis able to shoot from kickoff and give the promotion 11 an early lead before the PA announcer had even finished reading the teams out. And with Crystal Palace playing in the FA Cup final this weekend, Jason Punchin made way after five minutes for Lee Holmes and was given a parting gift on the way off. <laughs> Southampton drew levels soon after. A through ball found Graziano Pella, who struck low past Kelvin Davis. That made it 1-1 with 11 minutes played. The Promotions eleven had a glorious chance to go back in front when Danny Butterfield's cross was headed goalwards by Ricky Lambert, but the ball somehow didn't cross the line. Great reactions from Martin Stecklenberg to keep it out. Instead, it was Saints who got their noses in front. Beating the offside trap was Charlie Austin from Oriol Romeo's pass, and he rounded Kelvin Davis and tapped into the net to make it 2-1. That lead lasted only a couple of minutes. Danny Butterfield played one of his trademark crosses from deep onto the head of Ricky Lambert, who unselfishly knocked back to Lee Holmes to score from close range. Terrific knockback from Saints number seven, and the goal scored by the current Exeter City man for 2-2. And after Kelvin Davis made a couple of good saves to stop Ronald Koeman's side from retaking the lead, it was that man again, Lee Holmes, who stole centre stage with possibly the best goal of the night, curling a fantastic strike in off the post. But the scores were back level again before half-time. A ball from Dusan Tadic into Charlie Austin, who scored his second of the game. That made it 3-3, but there was a great chance for the promotions 11 to retake the lead when Raddy Jaidi's header was well saved by Martin Stecklenberg. Both sides made changes at half-time, with Kelvin Davis getting a bit of a breather. Chris Perry, Lee Barnard and Jonathan Fort amongst those who joined the action for the promotions 11. But it was a substitute for the Saints that made the impact, with Harrison Reed striking from the edge of the box past Bartosz Biakowski to make the score 4-3. And with 15 minutes to go, Shane Long added a fifth for Ronald Koeman's side with a fantastic low strike. With 12 minutes to go, there were a couple of changes. Kelvin Davis came on for Southampton, the last time he will appear in a Saints shirt, whilst his son Sonny came on for Ricky Lambert. And it was those two who were in the thick of the action, Kelvin Davis making a string of impressive saves to keep his young son at bay. The crowd were beginning to think that perhaps Sonny wouldn't get his goal, especially when he hit the crossbar from the penalty spot, but thankfully a suspiciously clumsy challenge from Cuco Martina allowed him another chance to net from 12 yards, and this time he did into the corner. It wasn't enough to draw the promotions 11 level, but it was the final kick of a highly entertaining night which brought the curtain down on Kelvin Davis's Southampton career.